All right, okay. So these questions are basically mixed. We'll just do those which we can do in this class, okay? Because we have not covered all the contents for now. So we'll do as many questions as we can. All right. The first one says, okay, Omaiza, don't worry, I'll share it. The first one says, factorize 5y minus 6py. Factorize, that's simple. I am just going to take out the common variable. That's certain it's y in both the terms. So I'll take y out and I would be left with 5 minus 6p. And this is going to be the answer. I'm supposed to write down this y as well, Moise. Okay. So it would be y outside and then 5 minus 6p. Very good. This is how we factorize. Achha. The next question is, t power 21 divided by t power 7. Now it is something that you guys have already studied in the previous chapters where we discussed indices. So division sign and the bases are same. So powers would be subtracted and this would give you t power 14. So it would be t power 14. Yes, can anyone tell me the answer of this one, the second part? Very good, Taha. I want an answer from all of you. Even if the answer is wrong, I won't mind. Yes, please, your answer is correct. Very good. Good, Hassan, Sahal, excellent. Yes, Urva, can you try doing it? Musa, Rabia, Kabir. Ariba, Abdullah, I think all of you can do it. Very good, Ariba. Very good, Rabia. Okay, this means we are good with the idea. So we have u power 5 and then outside the brackets, we have another 5. So the rule said that we can multiply both the powers and this would give you u power 25. So it would be u power 25. Okay. Achha. Now, let's talk about this, these two questions first, and then I'll get back to the uh, previous one because that's a bit technical. Okay. It says factorize 2x squared minus x. So I'm supposed to take out the common terms or the common, um, let's say, the variable or the number. So the only thing that's common in both the terms is x. I'll take x out. I can't take x squared out because I only have x here, okay? I'll take x out and this would give me 2x minus 1. Very good, Hassan. So it's going to be x multiplied by 2x minus 1. Okay. This question right here. The 20th question. Achha. Now, if we look at it, we have... We have been asked to factorize. Do we have any variable common that is coming in all the four terms? We have y in first two. We have x in last two. We have a in the second one and the last term. But there's no variable which is coming in all the three terms. Okay. Do we have a number that is coming in all these three terms? Is it three? No, because I can't work with three for this case. Is it two? No, because I can't work with two for this case. So this means that for this part, we need to separate it. I'll tell you how. Whenever you have been asked to factorize and you are not able to take anything out from the four terms, you are not able to find out something common that is common in the four terms, just separate the two terms, okay? Now I'll think about them separately. If I think about the first row, I can take three common because three is in both the terms and I can take y common because y is in both the terms. Okay. So I'll take three y common and I would be left with six minus a. I repeat, for this scenario, we were not able to find anything common in the four terms. So I just separated these four terms. Uh, I just made two um, separate questions or I just 
separated uh, the four terms as in I made two groups. And now out of these two groups, I am going to take things common. So the first group was 8y minus 3ay. In these two terms, I can certainly see I have a number common, that's 3, and I have a variable common, that's y, and I factorized it. Then I have a plus sign, and this is 12x minus 2ax. So we have a number common, the number is 2, and we have a variable common, that is x. So I would get 6 minus a. Now, this and this term is same. So we are going to write it as 3y plus 2x into 6 minus a. And this is going to be the answer. The answer would be 3y plus 2x into 6 minus a. One second, one second. Moise, um, no. We, we are not going to cancel 6 minus a. I'll tell you again, okay? Acha. Let's, let's uh, go back to this point, okay? So far, we just separated the two groups and after separating the two groups, we factorized and this is what we got. Again, the question says factorize. Now, factorize this thing. What is coming common? This 6 minus a and this 6 minus a is coming common. So I will just write it down outside. It is 6 minus a that is coming common. And I will write it down this way. It's 3y plus 2x. So I can write it down this way. I can write it down this way. That does not matter in multiplication. The order of numbers does not matter. 2 multiplied by 3 and 3 multiplied by 2 both would give me 6. Okay. This is the idea. How many of you were not able to understand this question? Please just uh, message me directly. Or just unmute and tell me if you were not able to understand it. Abdullah, Ariba, Hassan, and then another Hassan, Kabir. And no, I Sorry, one second. Uh, yes, say it now. Can you explain it again? Definitely, definitely. Okay. After this was the question, okay. And one thing is clear that you were asked to factorize and in the beginning, you were not able to find anything common. So you don't know how to do it. For such cases, we just break these four terms into a group of two and then we do it, okay. For the first one, for the first pair, that was 18y minus 3ay, I was able to take 3y common. And when I took 3y common, I got 6 minus a. And for the second pair, I was able to take 2x common and I got 6 minus a. Now think about this equation or this expression right here. It's not an equation, it's an expression. Think about this expression and again read the question. The question says factorize. And the story is same that you need to factorize. So you need to take out the common term. So in 3y, 6 minus a plus 2x, 6 minus a, what is common? The 6 minus a and the 6 minus a is basically common. So I took 6 minus a out and I was left with 3y plus 2x. So this was basically the answer. Okay. Yes, Urva, is it okay now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. Let's talk about the second part of this question. It says factorize 3x squared minus 48y squared. So, yes, at this level, we will factorize it in our own way. This is a three mark question because it has something that we need to discuss. But for now, Let's talk about the basic stuff as much we know, okay? So apparently it looks like uh, the variables are different. We can only take out numbers and the number is three. So I'll take three common and I would be left with x squared minus 16 y squared. But this is not the answer. 
it's a three mark question when we will um, talk about more contents from this chapter you guys will see that after learning a few more things you would be able to factorize it even more but for now this is enough for you guys okay obviously we will talk about uh, more contents then again i'll get back to this question but for now this is enough okay let's talk about this question let's just discuss this question okay acha now it's a three mark question means that it's not that straightforward and let's see how to do it so right as a single fraction in its simplest form again same is the statement when you have numbers and same is the statement when you have al algebraic expressions okay you have 2x divided by x plus 3 and x plus 3 divided by x minus 5 you can't do this why can't you do this because you have plus sign between the two fractions and whenever you have plus sign between two fractions you certainly cannot cancel the two fractions okay the rule is same just like if i have 2 by 5 plus 5 by 2 i cannot do it this way i can only cancel it when i have multiplication sign between the two fractions but if i have plus sign i can certainly not cancel it directly so the rules are same then how do we do it how do we do how do we play with simple fractions for example if you have 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5 how do we deal with it we simplify it by taking lcm we used to take the lcm of these two terms and same is going to happen over here okay i have a plus sign so i am going to take the lcm now i am not sure um about what exactly would be the lcm of x plus 3 and x minus 5 we know how to take the lcm of 3 and 5 but we don't know how to take the lcm of x plus 3 and x minus 5 okay so for this case we are just going to multiply the two numbers in the denominator okay and think about it as the lcm think about it as the lcm of these two numbers okay this is how we will do it every time just like when i will take the lcm of 3 and 5 it would be 15 i'll be multiplying 3 and 5 similarly i'll be multiplying these two numbers and this is basically the lcm of the two numbers next what happens next this has x plus 3 what part of lcm is missing x minus 5 so i multiply it uh, i multiply the denominator with x minus 5 and so i'll multiply the numerator with x minus 5 as well so the numerator would become 2x multiplied by x minus 5 then we have a plus sign okay the next denominator is x minus 5 the lcm is x plus 3 into x minus 5 what part of lcm is missing in the denominator x plus 3 is missing so i will multiply x plus 3 over here and this would become x plus 3 into x plus 3 any confusions for now let me explain this again i won't be simplifying it for now i'll just you know explain the idea again because don't think about it as a past paper question think about it as if it is uh, something that we are discussing it right now okay so i am pretty sure you guys would not be able to understand it that easily it would take time and then you guys would get better un unless you know it already okay we have two fractions it's completely the same for numerical fractions and for algebraic fractions why am i calling these algebraic fractions because i have a variable that's x how do i do it whenever i used to have plus sign between two fractions i used to take the lcm similarly between these two fractions i have a plus sign i'll take the lcm of x plus 3 and x minus 5 just like the lcm of 3 and 5 is 3 multiplied by 5 similarly the lcm of x plus 3 and x minus 5 is going to be the product okay we will be writing down the product every time for such cases okay what happens next i am going to compare this denominator with the lcm so what part is missing x minus 5 is missing 
So I'll multiply x minus 5 with the numerator and this would become uh, 2x into x minus 5. And here x plus 3 is missing. So I'll multiply the numerator with x plus 3. So I got this. Okay, And then we'll talk about it in the next class. I'm going to expand it and I'll simplify it. That's not important. The important part is how exactly are we supposed to start off with two fractions? It could be algebraic, it could be numerical, but the important part is if two fractions have a plus sign between them. Because I've seen students doing this every time, every time. And, you know, I just want you guys to understand you cannot cancel the numerator and the denominator of two fractions, of two different fractions, if they have a plus sign in them. Okay. If, for example, I just need one more minute. If, for example, if I had this thing, 2x divided by x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3 divided by x minus 5. In that case, I would have cancelled this and the answer would have been 2x divided by x minus 5. But what is the difference? Here I have multiplication. Here I have addition. So for different signs, the working is going to be different, obviously, right? So we need to use the correct method according to the situation, okay? Now, if you have anything that's coming to your mind, please ask me right now. No questions. <laughs> 